It's been an incredible journey. I'm actually from a small town in Sweden, and um, I grew up listening to these artists, um, you know, on the kitchen radio growing up. So to then be able to work with them in the studio and collaborate with some of these singers like Barbara Streisand, Andrea Bocelli, Celine Dion, Idina Menzel, it's just been incredible. You know what, I actually grew up listening to a lot of Latin music. Um, my auntie, she would play um, people like San <laughs> Luis Miguel, uh, you know, so many, Mark Anthony. So I grew up listening to these people and uh, I thought one day I would love to sing something in Spanish. Uh, so it was incredible to be able to record my first song, Cuando Hay Amor, in Espanol. Uh, well, it was really cool because I was so excited to release the song in Spanish and my friend Adrian Pergastino, who is an incredible songwriter from Venezuela, yeah, he wrote the translation of uh, Cuando Hay Amor from For The Ones We Love. Um, so we recorded it and I had no idea that the response was going to be so incredible um, in Latin America and Mexico and also in Spain, so I'm so grateful. Okay. Uh, good question. The, the biggest challenge, I think, you know, with Spanish is that you guys, uh, you make the words shorter when you sing them. So it's not like reading it, you have to really um, practice the pronunciation to make it perfect. But I like challenges, so it was really fun. And also, the Stockholm Symphony Orchestra is playing on the track, which is kind of cool. So we have Sweden, we had, uh, I wrote it in the USA, and now we have it in Venezuela, and now we're in Colombia. So, a global collaboration. Hola, Revista 15 Minutos. It's Jonas Marin aquí, and it's so good to be with you. Um, here is my new song, Cuando Hay Amor. Lo que hacemos cuando hay amor, cuando hay amor. Cuando hay amor, cuando hay amor, para ti, para mí, para todos, cuando hay amor, cuando hay amor.